This is a short video about heat maps and how you can use them to communicate risks successfully. So you've done all the hard work, you've done your risk assessments, you've come up with all your risk actions. And after all that hard work, you now need to communicate it within your organization so that everybody can be aware of it and also help you manage the risks. One, one way of doing this is through heat maps. And a heat map is essentially a two dimensional representation of data. What happens is you take all the consequences and likelihoods that you've identified from your risk assessments and you can put them into a simple matrix format. The matrix can be three by three or a five by five. Matrix, what is a matrix? Let's explore that one next. Matrix is effectively, you think of it as a grid. And in a three by three, you've got obviously three by three. And it's a representation where on the left hand side, you would have the potential impact or consequences. And along the bottom axis, you would show the likelihood or the chances of occurrence. With a matrix as three by three, you can populate with numbers, as I've shown in this diagram here, where once you've done your risk assessment, you'd be able to have a feel as to what the likelihood will be and the consequences are. When you multiply the two together, you get, of course, a position on the grid. Multiplying the two together, of course, is a risk equation, which is a product of consequences and likelihood. So in effect, you're taking a quantitative output from a risk equation and putting it into a graphical format on the grid, the matrix. So what's involved? As I said, essentially, you're plotting the risks on the heat map based upon the potential impact and the likelihood of occurring. So you might have seen this one before, this image. I've used it in my risk management fundamentals training course. And it's not a place I'd like to work in, but you can see, for example, there's the one with number one where the young lady is using a circular saw. Likelihood's gonna be quite high here because you can see there's quite a lot of exposure potential. The consequences, I, I would dread to think what the consequences are going to be there. You can put all of that, of course, on our matrix of five by five. And in this particular instance, I've, I've opted for a position where it puts us in terms of very likely and also permanent disability. So that's where the number one is. Done it for the others as well. And you can see where the numbers are on that as well. Essentially, this is the risk profile for the organization based upon people consequences for that particular area. So it's very descriptive and very definitive in terms of where it is within the organization from a profile perspective. But why should you have heat maps? Why is it important to communicate risk successfully? Well, the organization can build a risk profile relative to their activities and operation based upon the heat map. In that particular picture, that organization will have an idea where the risks are. And as they improve and continuously improve, they can see how they're moving along in terms of progression and improvement on that heat map. It's of course much easier to show graphically within an organization with potential risks. It's also a useful way to monitor risks either as part of periodic review process or in management meetings and board level meetings regarding safety performance improvements. But let's not forget heat maps aren't just limited to safety and risk performance applications. It can be used in a variety of areas, for example, financial reviews, uh, market performance reviews, website performance reviews. So it has, it's a very powerful way of graphically showing where the uh, risks are within an organization. And use wisely, heat maps play a really important role in terms of not only communicating risks within the organization, but also helping continuous improvement as you can visually see how it changes, the profile changes on that grid as risks are reduced or eliminated within the organization. So that was just a quick video on how to use heat maps to communicate your risks successfully.